All right, guys. So this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Kindle ebook with Designer. Guys, first things first, I'm going to just log into my account and show you. This is the dashboard. All you want to do is click on a new ebook right here, so you can start. You can either use a Word document, you know, a ready Word document, and import that here. You could write it from scratch, or you could even use their AI generator to generate a whole ebook for you guys. So here, I would like to create an ebook. I want to be published it as a pdf okay i'm going to choose pdf for now you can always convert a pdf to a epub for kindle or at the end when we are going to be exporting our document you can select epub for kindle later on so i want to use as my baseline you can either insert a file upload a file you can use an existing document you can generate with ai right from scratch or even use a template i'm going to use the word genie i'm going to generate something with ai guys i'm going to show you how easy it is and how good of a job this AI can do for us right I want to I want to book on e-commerce okay I want to book on e-commerce next okay that's the topic I'm going to choose I'm going to click on let's start and let AI do its thing it's going to literally make us our title our outline description first paragraph for each chapter everything it's literally going to make our whole thing in depth guys so next content our topic okay e-commerce we're going to do Let's do drop shipping, okay? It's a drop shipping ebook. I'm sure there's a lot of those, but we're gonna add to it now today. We're gonna add to all those drop shipping ebooks. All right, our sub niche is gonna be yeah, drop shipping, and we are gonna be drop shipping. What do we want to be drop shipping, guys? Should we be drop shipping pet supplies or tech gadget? Okay, I'm gonna do pet supplies right here, guys. Next. My audience for my ebook. All right, my audience is going to be Instagram theme pages. So the Instagram theme pages are going to be using our ebook to learn how to drop ship pet supplies. All right, a title we're going to be picking is the Instagram Petpreneur. That is a good title. I like that one. So I'm going to click next. All right, the tone of my ebook, I want it to be, you can choose different ones as constructive, informative, professional, inspirational. I'm going to choose informative because I am trying to teach something here. So I'm going to choose informative and let the AI do its thing. Now it's thinking of what to do. We're going to, okay, here, guys. Here we have the outline here, the introduction to petpreneurship. I like this already. This could actually be an actual ebook is showing the content creation strategies. I was going to drive traffic. Perfect, guys. Success story scaling this conclusion. Wow, this is an actual. You can also regenerate if you don't like this or manually edit it. You can type it out right here. You can here. You can press backspace and edit it. But I'm just going to click next to show you how this works. And I'm going to be editing it differently. I will change the different styles, the layout. I can show you how to do that. I can show you how to add a table of content, pictures, you know, the different font styles will be changed. Basically, I'm going to show you how you can customize it as if you were doing it from scratch or you imported it from a Google document. So now it is generating, look at this guy's literally generating the ebook for us. And okay, it says it's going to take a few minutes. Usually it only takes like two or three minutes. So I'm just going to wait. And we're going to be back once it has done generating how many are these all the 15 chapters, guys. All right, guys, it's been like about two or three minutes literally generating the final part of our ebook. Guys, it is basically done. It literally generated 15 chapters, chapters, guys. And it is actually really good. It's actually informative and it teaches you a lot. It literally. Wow, this is insane okay uh now that it has generated the whole ebook i'm just gonna click on choose template and now here we're gonna see a bunch of different templates we can pick from you can search for something specific or you can look at the standard templates right here the standard ones we have okay we have different ones here these are some premium ones we can try but our ebook i would like to pick okay it's about drop shipping so e-commerce kind of goes with that uh, we have something about pets right here. So, okay. Um, I want I want to go with this. Okay. I want to go with this. 
because this looks to be about e-commerce. This is more about sales, you know, getting leads. This is good. I like this. This is okay. This is perfect, guys. I like this one. I like this one. Yep. This is the one, guys. This is the one for me. Digital marketing, e-commerce. Okay. This is perfect, guys. Retail. I'm going to use this template. You can preview it. You can preview it as a PDF, but I'm just going to go with this, guys. I'm going to show you the different aspects of this. Okay. All right. So now it's loading up all the text. Okay, guys. Look at this. It's formatting everything for us. I'm going to show you from the cover page, guys, okay? This is the cover page. Wow, looks perfect. This is here. Your author name is going to be right here. This is literally our title, Online Empire. The Instagram Petpreneur, a guide to dropshipping success. If you don't like this, you can change the font style, guys, right here. You can change it. You can change it. Oh, this one looks decent. Look at this. Bungie, no. Nah, nah. I don't like how it's too many lines of text. I would like to change this. I will change another one. I'm going to use, hmm, you can never go wrong with Oswald, but I'm going to choose Righteous. That looks nice to me. Yeah, that looks nice, guys. Okay. You can change the font of your name. Look at how good this looks, guys. Chapter one, introduction to petpreneurship, understanding the pet industry. Look at this. So you see, keep going down. We're going to have more chapters. Look at this. Chapter two, guys. Starting on the next page, you can add page breaks between each chapters. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna show you some other stuff. I'm gonna show you, look at this. If we go to images, you can add your images, you can drag and drop it and upload it, or guys, you can use the suggested images. So we could use things like dogs, and it will, it's gonna give you the images. You don't have to, <laughs> our target audience is pet owners, people who have pets, right? So. All right, where is the image section? We're right here again. We want people who own pets. You can add a huge image right here. This is our target audience, is a pet owner. So you can add it right here. You can change the opacity. You can do a bunch of different things here. Make it more blurry. You can do that too. You can add a shadow. You can do a lot of things and mess around with it, guys. If you want, you can change the background color as well or delete the background completely for the image. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you some other aspects of this. All right, I'm going to save this. That image was good for me. I want to show you how you can also add some artworks. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to search for treats. Okay. I'm going to search for treats. So you select a drop shipping platform, legal considerations. All right, I want to add treats right here. Choose a business model. We're going to be selling treats. So I'm going to add this right there. That looks good. All right, I want to move this down. So we're going to be moving this text box. All right, let me click out of here. And then now I'm going to move this text box to the next page. All right. This paragraph will start on the next page, and this page is just going to end with a little treat bag. That looks good, guys. That is perfect. Okay. Now, also, one other thing I want to show, we didn't have a table of contents. I'm going to show you how to add a table of contents. It's actually really easy, simple, guys. You just mess around with this website. It's going to do everything for you, okay? So, table of contents right here. I'm going to put this here, and now it is going to have, okay, no. That one did not work because we're supposed to have the table of contents. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me save this from here. From here, we need to add a table of contents right here to the second page. All right. I wonder why this is not coming up. We're supposed to have a table of contents showing up. Maybe I am doing something differently. Okay. We're supposed to do it from the layout, I think, or from the templates. Whoa, what is going on with the website right now? But I will figure this out, guys. Let me show you. Let me just figure it out really quickly, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Right, guys, so I understand what happened wrong. So this is a good learning lesson for you guys as well. So you don't just drag table, table of contents right there. You first want to add a new page right here. You add a new page, and then you select the table of contents, and it is going to auto-generate for you guys. Look at this. It has auto-generated the table of contents. You can change the formatting if you like. The 
color and everything. Let me just show you how to do that. Just come here, text color. We're going to choose green. Boom. And now chapter one has green text. Literally that simple, guys. And I'm going to show you different other stuff. You have layouts. You can add columns here. You can add. We have different templates you can look at. If you wanted to change the template, you can do that as well. You're not fixed to it. All right, guys, you can add another text box right here, a text field. If you want to add some text here, you could do that as well. You can just add the text field and write something here. Let me just show you. So I will say, I will say hi. Hi, this is me. This is an Easter egg. So if someone reads this, they'll understand this is an Easter egg. Can change the label and maybe name this secret so this is a secret guys <laughs> all right we're gonna save that and i wanted to show you one more thing guys you can add a call to action where if you want to send someone let's say this is a free ebook you want to send someone to your course all right you can send someone to your course you can add a call to action right here and now guys look at this so here you can change the text to something else but Basically, they're going to click on learn more and then they're going to be redirected to your website. Okay, it's literally that easy. Simple guys. Now you can you can link this as well to your website. You can add a link to this where someone clicks on this and they're, they're redirected to your website. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how you can just publish this PDF. It's actually really easy and simple. Just come here and click on publish, okay? And then we're going to choose one of these options. You can choose Kindle EPUB export, but you would require a higher plan for this. You can compress the PDF so you can save storage space. But I'm going to just choose a normal PDF for now. You can always convert it to this later on. I'm going to choose normal Adobe Reader. Okay, this is a long project, so it's going to take at least 30 minutes to complete. It is going to email us when it's finished. I'm just going to click continue and I'm going to be back when it is done exporting, guys. Okay. All right, guys, that literally took like 10 seconds and the PDF has exported. Look, it has published and now we're going to get it in our email. You just download that PDF and boom, guys, it's actually that easy and simple. You're literally going to have this whole ebook as a PDF in your email. That literally took seconds. You can write it out normally yourself or you can use you can import a Google document if you've written your own book but it's really easy and simple guys you can customize it you can add pictures everything you can even add videos if you want someone to click on and watch you can embed a video you can do many things guys actually very easy and simple so if the video helps make sure you like comment and if you want you can subscribe to ninja guides on YouTube right now